Hi, and welcome to Unit 4 of Economics, titled Competition and Market Structures. This is a crucial concept in economics, and by the end of this uh, video, you'll have a solid grasp of what you can expect and what it is about. So let's dive in. So, um, our first objective is to define and differentiate market structures. So, um, market structures are the foundation of understanding <clears throat> excuse me, how firms operate within an economy. We have four primary market structures, perfect competition, monopoly, monopolistic competition, and oligopoly. So, what sets uh, these apart? Um, perfect competition features many small firms with identical products, uh, no product differentiation, and ease of entry and exit. In contrast, a monopoly is a market with a single seller, <coughs> excuse me, often with significant barriers to entry, giving the firm a lot of control over prices. Monopolistic competition involves many firms, but each offers slightly different products. Finally, an oligopoly is characterized by a few large firms that dominate the market. So our second objective will be to analyze the behavior of, fir of firms in different market structures. So um, understanding how these firms make decisions regarding pricing, output levels, and product, product quality is key. So why does this matter? Uh, it's crucial because these behaviors affect consumers and the overall economy. For instance, firms in perfect competition are price takers, meaning they accept market prices. Monopolies, on the other hand, are price setters, allowing them to maximize profit by setting prices above marginal cost. Understanding these behaviors helps us understand the market dynamics. <clears throat> Our third objective is evaluating the efficiency and welfare implications of market structures. We will look at allocative efficiency, which is when resources are allocated optimally, and product will end with productive efficiency, which is when firms produce at the lowest cost. These concepts help us see how different market structures impact consumer and producer surplus, as well as overall economic welfare. So um, one example would be in a perfectly competitive market uh, allocative efficiency is high because firms produce where price equals marginal cost. In monopolies, allocative efficiency is low, as prices are often higher than marginal cost. Productive efficiency, achieved when firms produce at the lowest cost, is usually high in perfect competition, but may be lower in monopolistic competition due to product differentiation costs. Finally, our fourth objective is understanding government regulation and antitrust policy. Governments intervene in markets to address inefficiencies and promote competition. This can include antitrust laws and regulations that restrict monopolistic practices. So the impact of these uh, types of regulations varies across market structures. In perfect competition, regulation is usually minimal in monopolies, governments often regulate prices and behavior to prevent, to prevent abuse of market power. It's essential uh, to consider both the benefits and drawbacks of government intervention as it can have a significant influence on market outcomes. So that would wrap it up. We've um, looked at the definition and differentiation of market structures, analyzed firm behaviors, evaluated efficiency and welfare implications, and touched on government regulation and antitrust policies. Understanding these concepts will empower you to make informed decisions and observations about the world of economics. I look forward to seeing you and working with you all. Uh, so I'll see you in class.